Our guests have watched the Senate proposal go through the political grinder. Professor Kenneth Thorpe chairs the Department of Health Policy and Management at Emory University. Eamon Javers is financial correspondent at Politico.com. Gentlemen, good to have you back this hour. Uh, Dr. Thorpe, let me start with you. Mm -hmm. How important to, to any meaningful health care reform is this idea of a coverage mandate? Well, I think a coverage mandate is essential because the insurance reforms that we want to do, eliminating pre-existing conditions, not letting insurance companies drop you when you're sick, you really need to have everybody covered in the system in order to do the insurance reform. So I think it's an essential part of this proposal. Yeah, and, and Eamon, Eamon Javers, it, it, uh, an essential part of the proposal, according to Professor Thorpe, but, uh, boy, that raises all kinds of thorny issues moving forward. Uh, it, well, you take them on. You take them on. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the key here, the sort of philosophical linchpin to this idea that everybody has to be covered is what insurance companies do now is they, they charge you more if you're a riskier customer. And that's because the riskier customers are likely to cost them more. So people who smoke, for example, are yes. likely to have more health issues that are going to be more expensive going down into the future. Under this proposal, those pre-existing conditions, with the exception of smoking and one or two other very small lim limitations, will be eliminated. In order to pay for the expense of that, they have to bring in all these younger, healthier people yeah. into the system to balance it out. So net-net, the costs are about the same. Gotcha. That's why you've got to have this mandate for coverage, and that's why all these proposals will have it in there. And I nearly got ahead of myself a moment ago, but uh, Professor Thor, back to you. What will ultimately constitute coverage what benefits would you have to have would you have to carry you think moving forward to be considered covered well in essence if you have coverage today through your employer uh, as I understand it that will constitute coverage credible coverage if you don't have coverage or you're a self-employed individual small business buying through the exchange uh, there are four benefit packages there there's a bronze benefit package in the Olympic vernacular mm -hmm. as long as you have a bronze benefit package which means that the health plan pays about 65 percent of the cost of health care you pay 35 percent as long as you have that uh, that would constitute health insurance coverage gotcha and Eamon to what extent will this idea of uh, expanded Medicare this idea of Medicare plus be a mechanism to cover more people I think it's going to be an important mechanism, and largely because Medicare is so popular in this country. It's very uh, palatable, I think, to talk about expanding Medicare politically in an era in which health care reform itself is uh, being criticized widely as, you know, sort of socialism. Uh, talking about Medicare, which is a government-run health program, uh, is very popular still. And in fact, sometimes uh, today when you look at some of the Republican criticisms of this, they're talking about cuts to the ben benefits that the government provides already to senior citizens in particular. So so some of these things have uh, been passed into law in the past and are now sort of treasured American programs that nobody wants to see cut, uh, and the fight is over all the rest of it now. Uh, and, and Professor Thorpe, should seniors uh, uh, who are covered now through Medicare, this idea of an expanded Medicare, uh, expanded Medicaid, should they be concerned that more people will necessarily mean a reduction in the quality of care? No, I don't think so. And in fact, uh, I think one of the exciting things that's in this Senate proposal is that there are actually new benefits uh, in the Medicare uh, program that are proposed. So, for example, uh, getting a uh, cancer screen, uh, any type of preventive services. Now, under the proposal, you wouldn't have to pay uh, any type of cost sharing for that. There'd be a new uh, health risk appraisal to help you uh, sort of uh, manage your health care and put together a care plan. Those would now be paid services through the Medicare program. So there's actually, I think, some exciting news in this uh, for seniors as this proposal goes through. Professor Thorpe, appreciate it. Eamon, as always, thank you.